I think that it's only really fitting that we start this rent video like this because of the today's topic which is as you can see soul skills or the lack of which we haven't gotten for whatever reason. Um, it's not like this really pisses me off but more so I've started to let's say notice it lately because I mean this is, was probably always present here. Um, if we go under this whole section, we can see here that there is nine slots empty and soul skills like the entire mechanic came out in 2009 and we have since then been only on the base skill, which increases HP upper limit. I don't really know what the deal is that we are not getting them yet, but we are going to get into the skills that we know for sure that can come in the future and on which level and how it's going to actually work. So let's pull off the screenshots. Okay, so what I got here is basically a data mine stuff of Shumanos. I believe this was very recently. Um, their soul skills and we got here on the right side the actual translation of what which skill does. Um, so, first one, as we can see here, it goes up to level 30, which basically means increase own blood volume, passive skill, which is this base one. So, blood for Shumenol is basically HP. So, that's really easy to understand. Um, next one, we have, it says here, after level, level 31 of the Yuan Shin level, well, that's how they call the PvE Palace Yuan Shen on Shumenol. Um, you will automatically obtain the Yuan Shen talent, which is Elix Golden Elixir. Now, it is this yellow buff, so... My logical explanation why there is a gap separated here is because you are required to have firstly unlocked this skill in order to be able to unlock all of those after in their corresponding level and in their corresponding levels um so without basically um without this one you cannot get any of the further ones now what is the way actually to get um this one to level 31 we don't know um we can only assume by the numbers that the pve arena is going to keep on going as it did before which was basically you just do up to round 11 the three runs and you gain almost the entire bar of a level now there might be some tricks that you might need some i don't know reputation for it to get level 31 or it may be that you need some specific requirement um Again, we don't know, we can just only assume what the case might be. So, kind of, that's where the things stand. Okay, now, what's clearly, um, so all of those are required to gain up to level 40. Now, this up to level 40 might mean that the skills will increase up to level 40, so basically from level 31 to 40, or they get unlocked on level 40. But if we see here, increase blood volume passive skills to level 30. So this believes me to lead that probably up to level 30, the skills effect is going to level up according to your soul skill level as you of course push it upwards. Uh, so probably our base is going to stop on after level 31 and on level 31 we are going to unlock this one and once we get those, well actually this one, whatever this is, um, golden elixir, probably then after level 31 we are going to unlock all of those, most likely, and their effects will grow up until those specific levels, so probably so let's go actually through all of them one by one so we can kind of get idea what we can might or might get yeah. dodge manually enabled after the soul level is 31 okay so we can see that on level 31 we are unlocking dodge which is going to be this pinkish buff 
which um, this isn't really usual icon for the dodge but again soul skills are different than the actual skills uh, so therefore that's why there might be difference in the icons um, level 35 uh, full attribute damage manually enabled after the soul level is 35 okay so now we can actually see that each of those skills unlocks after specific levels so full attribute damage so this is this blue thingy right here um one thing that they didn't mention here full attribute damage does this only include magic damage or does this also include physical damage considering from the past experiences and we are going to get into this in a second full attribute means that you get all of the attributes so if we go to level 40 full attribute defense manually enabled after the soul level is 40 so it is this pinkish robe guy now full attribute defense they have made a change into the friendship itself if we go look at it um let's take for example savalina and level 5 we can see here that it says attribute defense point it didn't specify never is it only magic defense or it's only physical defense however when you get into team with this green buff but here it shows as yellow because of the those icons but it's in generally green buff um when you get into team you get both defenses and physical and magical defense so that leads me to believe that this is going to be for both physical and magic damage and this one is going to be for both physical and magic defense which naturally it would actually make sense and then we get to level 50 so manually turn on after the soul level is 45 and it says this is fatal now from the past experiences of getting the files that have been badly translated and mined fatal means mortality so this is going to give you more mortal damage how good is this um depends how big of a let's say number scaling modifier is going to be according to each level that we are going to get however um again depends of how much we are going to get in the numbers so yeah and the last one is on level 50 uh the upper limit of chi and blood manually activated after the soul level is 50. Qui chi um you get the point now this one i did just remember what this means this basically is revolved of around your soul concentration so on level 50 we can see that there is icon of a shadow and actual let's say monk or a person and blood and as we can see blood here is hp so basically on level 50 we are going to get extra either soul concentration from pellets or faster charge per each level of the secret exp and energy or whatever already case is going to be but either way chi basically for them it means soul concentration so we kind of have all of those debunked and if we look at the icons all of those actually make sense only one that really doesn't make sense is dodge but then again we get here and there always um even if you notice on pets we get updates of the icons of specific skills like most likely we have gotten changes of intelligence and hp recovery as well as trend gotten update like a couple of years ago on um, the icon itself actually that is so this clearly indicates that after specific level the let's say effect of those skills alone is going to stop on this level so dodge is going to unlock on level 31 and maximum effect is going to reach on level 40 the same way as full attribute damage is going to be unlocked on level 35 and it's going to get maximum effect on level 40 and this one is going to basically unlock on the very same level where it hits the cap same is for this one and the 45 mortal or fatal 
is going to be at level 45 up to level 50. So, this is kind of when we take up the, let's say, overall scaling of and um, I guess I could say sum up all of what we could get. Um, this looks actually good. Um, I most likely am looking forward for the full attribute damage and full attribute defense. Most likely full attribute damage because I like damage, which is mostly clear. Um, so dodge um, again useful for all other classes aside from assassins because assassins hit 80% of their dodge like before they hit maximum level um, these are always useful for attribute damage or for attribute defenses um, maybe monks don't really get that much of a physical defense because we very early hit maximum of 80% physical defense so that's one case um, but then again you can more so hold yourself away from combining higher and you're going to basically still hit 80% as a monk. Um, mortal, again we are slowly getting the new ways of get mortal, um, for pvp extremely useful, for pv it's sabotage and I'm going to explain why it's a sabotage in one of the future videos. And soul concentration and HP, I mean you can never really go wrong with this because soul level basically gives you free XP and energy whether it's due to the pellets or it's over the soul EXP or secret, well actually it's secret EXP and secret energy. So overall it's looking good but it's going to look even better if we get any of this and we can even see that the soul concentrating um, look has been updated to this little buddha thingy um this i might say it's a monk but no this is the same for every other every class basically this is just updated version of how the soul looks and not like this like whatever this is floating soul um some kid or ganoderma or whatever this already is supposed to represent but yeah overall I'm looking forward that we get them sometimes, um, I know a lot some people have over the years complained that we haven't gotten any, um, but I think in probably a couple of months, maybe up to a year, we are about to start getting the newer levels and newer skills, so until then we can only hope, and yeah, um, again if some of you want to feel free to maybe give them a suggestion I for a certain will because this gives basically people something to do um, and it doesn't really take you that much of a time but it's still something to occupy you every single day so with that being said I am going to see you in the next video or in the next short and until then stay safe